Hello everyone, I am Javad, a PhD student from Umo University, and I am presenting our work, uh, Detection of BSI DDoS Attacks on the Edge, a Sequential Modeling Approach. In this presentation, I will start with an introduction and motivation of the work, uh, explaining the contributions of the work, and uh, what is BSI DDoS, how it works, a quick review of related works, and explaining proposed approach, and providing experimental evaluations and uh, finally concluding the paper and I will explain the future work. All right, so uh, there are uh, several recent, uh, recently emerged applications such as uh, smart healthcare, autonomous transportation, uh, industrial automation and augmented reality that are vital for, today, for our today's life and for our future. These types of applications are response time critical and bandwidth hungry which means they need to minimize response time with maximized bandwidth the centralized cloud computing infrastructure is not capable of uh, providing such tight requirements because the computational power in such infrastructure is uh, far from the edge devices where the data is uh, generating and uh, uh, the service is delivered to so Edge Cloud seems to be the uh, solution, the feasible solution for uh, providing such uh, tight requirements in which uh, the computational power uh, is uh, much closer to the edge devices where the data is generating and the, where uh, the service is delivered to. But to really benefit from edge clouds, there are several challenges, especially in terms of security, such as DDoS attacks, side channel attacks, malware <coughs> injection, and so on, that needs to be answered to uh, make uh, edge cloud feasible. Uh, BSI DDoS, or very short intermittent DDoS, is a new type of DDoS attacks that targets the quality of service of the uh, deployed services on the edge. In this work, we consider the BSI DDoS detection problem as the main problem. All right, so the contributions of the work includes, uh, we have provided, uh, we have proposed a sequential modeling approach to address the BSI DDoS detection problem. We provided a systematic and extensive analysis of the proposed sequential modeling approach using testbed and benchmark datasets. We demonstrated uh, the capability of the proposed sequential approach in early detection of the VSID does on edge clouds. All right, so what is the VSID does and how it works? VSID does is an application layer LoRa DDoS that targets a small and large scale web services and that and uh, exploits the TCP congestion control mechanism to degrade the quality of service of the deployed services on the edge. Uh, and how it works. Uh, VSID does sends bursts of HTTP requests toward the uh, uh, target service in a very short time of alpha, let's say tens of milliseconds, and they repeat these actions after an idle interval. As a result, uh, the legitimate the, it it fills up the buffer queues on the server side and the uh, packets of the legitimate users are starting to drop. TCP considers this as a congestion and tries to control the uh, situation by retransmission of those dropped packets and by decreasing the, tra uh, trans the packet transmission rate. Uh, there are many works to detect uh, uh, network anomalies and DDoS attacks, mostly uh, in fact, most of those are based on machine learning, deep learning, and feature level statistical analysis. For machine learning, I can, I can mention random forest, a uh, support vector machine. For deep learning, I can say and the use of uh, artificial neural network, gated recurrent unit, and LSTM, or long short term memory. And for feature level statistical uh, analysis, I can mention the generalized total variation metric. But 
none of these uh, related works uh, or past works uh, consider VSID as detection as target problem. And they mostly fail due to the smart behavior of the VSID DOS uh, because the log measures of the systems during attack, uh, the system components during attack remain uh, similar as the legitimate patterns. And uh, it, becomes, uh, it, it becomes difficult for traditional methods to distinguish between the attack and normal patterns, as you can see in the right figures. The red points are where attack happened and the rest are the normal uh, situation. And there is no obvious difference between those uh, data points. So uh, our proposed approach for detecting uh, VSID DOS includes a long short memory uh, with a, a long short memory layer with a local attention layer on top of that. There are two advantages with our uh, approach. First, by utilizing long short memory and sequential modeling, the model can learn from historical patterns happen before each data point. And by uh, using attention layer, uh, the model can learn very fine intermittent patterns of VSID DOS, uh, VSID DOS that uh, are occurring in very short intervals. But how, how it works? I'm, I will uh, go through the uh, algorithm. Uh, in, uh, in the algorithm, first it comes and uh, transforms the, the original data set into the transformed data set uh, in, in, in which each uh, instance in the transformed data set, which we call it aggregated instance, uh, consists of uh, seven instance in the length of uh, the sliding window, seven, in, seven single instance in, in the original data set, and uh, yes, and uh, the algorithm pass each aggregated instance of uh, D' TR to, to the LSTM layer, and LSTM layer generates the uh, source hidden state and target hidden state and path those to the attention layer. Then attention layer <laughs> estimates the aligned position PT and calculate the alignment weights vector AT and uh, calculate the local content, uh, context vector CT on the window of PT minus D and PT plus D based on AT. Then it computes the attention's hidden state H prime T based on CT and HD and after that it will pass the attention hidden state H prime T to a dense layer, a single node layer, and it will make the final decision YT, and it will return the YT, which is the target label for, for the current instance. Okay, so for implementing the test based setup for experimental evaluation, we have used a container-based microservice application named SockShop, uh, and services are running uh, are running as Docker container. We have monitored two layers of the testbed: application layer and virtualization layer. Uh, we have uh, two uh, scenarios: uh, scenario one, horizontal VSID DOS, in which we have uh, a regular number of HTTP requests with a longer uh, burst time of alpha. For scenario two vertical VSID DOS, we have uh, a higher amount of HTTP requests uh, with, uh, uh, with a, a regular uh, uh, burst interval. And this is our, the structure of our uh, testbed. Uh, these uh, diagrams uh, demonstrate the behavior of the system before and after attack. As you can see, there are several uh, re requests that, uh, uh, that experience uh, serious delays up to 600 milliseconds for scenario one and up to 800 milliseconds for scenario two. This is why they could be answered under 30 milliseconds uh, in a normal situation. The other observation is that uh, by increasing the uh, attack intensity uh, or beta to alpha ratio, the users will experience higher delays. Okay, for uh, for experimental evaluation, we have used two sets, uh, four sets of datasets. 
uh, two uh, testbed data set for scenario one and scenario two, and the two benchmark data set, uh, NSL KDD and UNSW NB15 with the characteristic presented in the table. And uh, the data processing and model training is presented in this flowchart, monitoring, uh, which includes monitoring, data storage, data labeling, data processing, and model training. We have two sets of uh, baseline methods for comparison of the, our approach. First is non-sequential baseline methods, uh, including a super vector machine, uh, deep neural network, and convolutional neural network. And the second is the sequential baseline methods, uh, includes, including uh, gated recurrent unit and long short-term memory. All right, so uh, the results of our experiment, uh, our uh, experimental evaluation is presented in these tables. As you can see, uh, the proposed approach outperforms all of the uh, baseline methods in, all of, in almost all of the criteria, especially in terms of F1 and accuracy. For NSLKDD, the, the DNN achieved the, the highest precision, and for UNSW, the uh, DNN achieved the highest recall. But in both cases, uh, our method achieved the highest F1 and other metrics. The training and testing time analysis over different data sets uh, is provided in this table. Uh, as you can see, by increasing the number of training instances, both the training and testing time of SVM will increase. This is due to the behavior of SVM. And uh, it is obvious that our uh, approach, LSTM Attention, has a, a testing time per instance of uh, in, in a scale of microsecond, which uh, uh, demonstrates its capability to early detection of ESID DOS, which, uh, uh, in which uh, the intervals were in, in a range of 10 milliseconds or ten, uh, tens of milliseconds. Uh, and uh, the proposed approach uh, achieve uh, a testing and a training time uh, slightly more than uh, LSTM and GRU, and this is because of the additional parameter of uh, LSTM attention to be tuned. Uh, the ROC analysis show that our uh, approach has superior performance in distinguishing between the uh, attack and normal patterns. Okay, to conclude this presentation, I need to say that we proposed a sequential modeling approach for BSID DAS detection as a security challenge for edge class. The model is evaluated on testbed and benchmark datasets and compared to the state of the art sequential and non sequential based on models. The model shows improvement in most of the criteria, especially in accuracy and F1. Our time analysis showed that the proposed model has a slight acceptable increase in training and testing time compared to LSTM, and it has a capability to uh, early detection of the VSID DAS on the edge. The ROC analysis showed that the proposed model has superior performance in discrimination between the target classes. Uh, for the future world, we plan to extend this work for detecting and uh, preventing multi-scale VSID DAS uh, attacks in edge class to improve the quality of service and service availability, reliability, and robustness. Here are the references for the presentation. And thank you very much for your attention.